Professor Richard Walker, welcome to the SCMP studio. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. We're here to talk about the importance of social sciences and humanities in understanding and resolving global issues. Mm -hmm. But before we get into that, how do you define social sciences and humanities? Humanity is, is about humanity. It's about, it's about human beings, uh, the collective people. Um, the social sciences are really the application of more scientific research techniques to understand people and society. So if you, you put these two things together, we're, we're trying to understand human beings, the nature, the, the societies that we live in, how we understand people, relationships between people, culture, um, uh, and those broader relationships. Why are social sciences and humanities so crucial in our world today? I think if we want to understand the world, we need to understand people. We need to understand relationships between people. We need to understand institutions, be they businesses, uh, be they governments, be, be those N NGOs, um, to understand how processes in the world operate. How have research in social sciences and humanities proven to be impactful in society? Many of our people are involved in, in government. They, they sit on committees and they take a role in NGOs. They are active in, in the community. In doing that, they're taking their professional knowledge, their academic knowledge, um, and transferring that knowledge into the community. I mean, what we research in the humanities is, is, is the world outside the window. We're looking to try and resolve complex human-based problems um, to make recommendations, advances on, on how societies can get better, how we can improve public value, how we can improve the human, human society. What are the career prospects for humanities and social science students? In the college, many of our programs are professional. We, we have social work programs, so students are entering those to, to become social workers. We have a media and communications department, so people are looking to work in media. Uh, we have a cultural heritage program, um, in, in that people are looking to work in the cultural industries, the cultural art. So the, the choices are very broad and very wide. In your opinion, what makes a successful social scientist and a successful person in humanities? I think it's a, it's a thirst for knowledge, curiosity understanding the world that you live in, the, the events um, that take place, and that, that drives a person towards success. But it's also about communication and having a critical outlook on the world, being able to critically appraise the world that we live in. What are your hopes for the future of humanities and social sciences? The humanities and social sciences are a fundamental part uh, of education, of, of life, of society. New developments in data, data sciences, um, digital humanities, that allow us to advance our understanding of people um, and society and which build on uh, existing theories, existing methodologies. So the future is bright. That's all the time we have today. Thank you so much, Professor Walker, for being with us this morning. Thank you for having me.